All right, we're coming out of our campsite. There's a pool. A decent sized pool. No diving though. Some pretty trees. We're trying to Well, we'll make a loop. There's it's like a propane filling station there. And we're in search of the dumpster. I don't know where it is. This is the main road that comes in. Gravel, hard packed. Some big rigs here. Tiffin, that's a we're in Texas. Lots of nice RVs here. I don't know. I think maybe the dumpster might be. Yeah, there's some big, big rigs here. And we'll probably just make the loop. And then I'll show you more of the... I think there's a store there and other things where you go and register. And yeah, it looks like it's pretty full. I think there are... 38 or 40 sites, something like that. I did see a couple people leaving this morning already, around 10 o'clock or so. But it looks very well kept. It is close to the highway, but surrounded by woods here, as you can see. Each site has a fire pit. And yeah, lots of Lots of big money rigs around here. I'm filling this with the DJI Osmo 2. <laughs> I'm not sure how much more of this we're going to show. Pretty similar. All the, all the sites, most of the sites are pulled through. I think there are some on the sides that are no, it looks like there might be some permanent permanent residents. And it seems like a lot of people are either inside or somewhere else. It's 11 o'clock, it's fairly warm. So I can see <laughs> no people in sight. I can see why people like that. That looks like might be a permanent situation there. And just a quick loop. There's another road there. Those are, so those sites in the back are back ends. And those look like more permanent type situations. And on the main road. There's a pond here, which we'll, we'll see. But each site, as you probably see, has concrete patio fire pit. Yeah, this looks like a bit of a permanent situation. Oh, there's a little old vintage camper over there. Old and vintage. I guess that's redundant. And yeah, pretty nice. I'm going to stop it now because there are some people who might not want me filming them and then we'll pick it back up over by the pond or over by the store. They also have cabins here that you can rent. They look actually pretty quaint. I think those are like 70 or $80 a night, something like that. I'll link to the site, to their site in the description, but it's a little pond. There's some ducks or swan over here. Nice play area for the kiddos. A slide. Some, I, we, used, we used to call those monkey bars. I don't know what they're officially called. You can see the waterfowl, some ducks. All right, look, they're hanging out under the... Oh, of course, mosquitoes were by the water. Hanging out under the cottage. Hello, ducks. Lots of gnats. 
No CMs. What's up, guys? And girls? That is the pond. There are some animals back there. I think maybe horses or donkeys or something. I think we should choose between praying in the and the some covered, I think picnic tables are supposed to be there. They've got a bunch over there. Looks like they're doing some construction. There's a dumpster. On the way out, that makes sense. We're going to give you a tour of the dumpster. Here, take it over. Yeah. Alright, so we found the dumpster. We'll pick it back up in a minute and show you the rest of the stuff on, in the front. Alright, looks like there's laundry facilities. Oh, yeah, you can see if you need to do some laundry. There's laundry over there. We're heading, this is toward the front. It's like a swamp over here. There's the pool. It rained a lot last night, so there's lots of water standing in this grass over here. We're coming up. Again, you probably hear the noise. It's, I guess that's it for Nina's walk. Looks like there were restrooms there. This is where you check in. It's like we've got some ice. I think there's a store here that says open. They sell licenses. That is a store and all kinds of things. I'll just take you out, I'll show you how close this is to. This is US 301, which is not an interstate, but it's a route. And so you do, you can hear that from, well, we can hear it from our camper since we're so close. We're in site number seven. It's right up in the front. Here's your signage that you see from US 301. And that's pretty much it. The speed limit of 10. <laughs> Zooland has a speed limit of 7, I think, or 8 or something, something like that. At any rate, uh, that's pretty much it coming back through. And that's going to conclude the tour. So we're going to cook dinner on the Blackstone. I cooked some bacon this morning. Came out nice. So we're having filet and potatoes. I don't know if I'll show that or not, but Definitely gonna break out the Blackstone for dinner. And we'll see what else the day holds. Probably not much. Again, we're gonna to try to use this day just to get familiar with the camper and get everything organized and try to just figure this thing out. Definitely different from just obviously staying in a house or camping in a tent. So we'll get it figured out. But we will be doing a lot of relaxing. So we'll see what else we show you. But that's gonna be it for the tour.